Hi there. Uh, in this project, uh, something a little bit different. Rather than create a painting, I want us to have an in-depth look at, uh, at colour and colour mixing. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. The first one really is that I, I do spend um, a bit of time looking at the online forum, at the various paintings that people have done from the projects. I really enjoy doing that. And it's fascinating to see how people change them and make them their own, etc. Uh, it's also interesting to see how the, the members talk to each other about the, the, the paintings. They're quite encouraging. Uh, maybe sometimes point out something they think they could uh, improve. And often that works because the person who painted it didn't actually, hadn't actually seen that. And that's what I try to do. I try to, to come online and, and look at the paintings and, and do some constructive criticism. And I get an idea as well uh, about what people in general are finding the most difficult aspect of the paintings. Um, and I think a thing that crops up again and again is the colour. Colour too strong, colour too weak, not the colour a bit dull when it should be brighter, a bit bright when it should be a bit duller. And the problem is that you could do everything else right, but if you don't get your colour strength and the, and the quantities in the mixture right, it's very difficult to produce a, a good painting. Sometimes it might be the dark green that's too vivid and strong, the lemon yellow that's far too acid, far overpowering, uh, the grey that is too dull, things like this. And it's not just, it's not just about the mixing. We, we all know that if you put yellow and blue together, you get green. But how much yellow, how much blue? Is this a very light wash we want for this part of the picture or a medium wash or a strong wash? So we, we explore that full range of tonal values. So I thought that if we can, if you paint along with me creating this chart of colours, of general landscape colours that I think really work and look natural, then you would have a, like a reference point at the side of your painting you could refer to. You, if, if we're doing spring grass, that would be there labelled on your colour chart and you can, you've got something to match it to. That, that's the idea with this. Uh, and uh, I think if you take the time to create this and label it along with me now, uh, you'll find it a very useful reference uh, for future paintings. Uh, you, I do have to mention, first of all, that the colours that I'm, I suggest and that I use, and you see me use again and again, are what I like, they're what works for me. You might watch another artist and him not like those colours particularly and choose a different range of colours. That's not that they're wrong, it's just that I can only tell you what uh, works for me. So let's get a piece of paper and get started.